Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the topic divided differences. Suppose that p n of x is the nth interpolating polynomial that agrees with the function f at distinct points x0, x1, etc, xn. That means if you are approximating this function f as nth interpolating polynomial p n x such that f of x0 equal to p n of x0 that is at these points x1, x0, x1, x0, xn uh, the values of p n and f are same that is f of x1 equal to p n of x1 etc and f of xn is equal to p n of xn so p n of x is the nth interpolating polynomial of f the function f now the divided differences of f with respect to x0, x1, etc, x and these points uh, can be used to express the interpolating polynomial p n x in this form. That is to express the interpolating polynomial p n x in this form. We can use the differences, divided differences of f with respect to these points x0, x1, etc, x n. That is, we have to express Pnx in this form that is a0 plus a1 into x minus x0 plus a2 into x minus x0 into x minus x1 plus etc. an into x minus x0, x minus x1, etc. into x minus x9 minus 1 for appropriate constants a0, a1, etc. a. So, here uh, to express this Pnx in this form, we have to determine these constants a0, a1, a2, etc. a. So, uh, to find the uh, constant a0, we can just replace the value or you can we can just find the value of pnx at the point x0. If you are finding uh, uh, the value of pnx at the point x0, that is pn of x0, if you are finding pn of x0, we have here x0 minus x0, so this term will be cancelled and here also, here, here also will be cancelled etc. So, all these terms will be cancelled if you are finding uh, uh, the value of pnx at the point x0. So, it will uh, get only the point a0 only. So, a0 is equal to pn of x0. We know pn of x0 is equal to f of x0. Okay. So, we have a0 is equal to f of x0, the value of f at the point x0 itself. Now, to find a1. To find a1, we can use uh, or, or we can replace the value of x at the point x1. If you are uh, putting x equal to x1 or we are finding, find, if you are finding the value of pn at the point uh, x1, uh, we get, we have to replace x by x1. So, uh, this term will be 0 and the, these terms are, will be 0. So, uh, the remaining terms will be a0 plus a1 into x1 minus x0. Therefore, uh, if you are replacing or if you are evaluating the value of pnx at the point a x1, we have pn of x1 is equal to a0 plus a1 into x1 minus x0 plus the remaining terms will be zeros because all these terms contains uh, the factor x minus x1. So, uh, these terms are 0. zero. So, we have a0 is nothing but f of x0. So, we have this is nothing but uh, and pn of x1 is uh, equal to uh, f of x1, right. So, we have uh, f of x1 is equal to a0 is equal to f of x0 plus a1 into x1 minus x0. That is uh, f of x0 plus a1 into x1 minus x0 is equal to f of x1. So, uh, evaluating a1 from this we get a1 is equal to f of x1 minus f of x0 divided by x1 minus x0 that will be uh, a1 so a0 equal to this and a1 is equal to f of x1 minus f of x0 divided by x1 minus x0 okay now in a similar way we can find a2 a3 etc okay so now we can uh, introduce the uh, divided difference notation so, first, zeroth divided difference of the function f with respect to xi is nothing but it is denoted by f of this xi, the symbol f of xi, and it is simply the value of f at the point xi. This is that is f of xi is equal to this f of xi. This is the zeroth divided difference. For example, here we have a1, a0 is nothing but this. So, a0 is equal to here we have a0 is equal to 
f of x naught right from this so this is the uh, zero to divide difference now the remaining divided difference are de uh, defined re recursively the first divided difference of f with respect to xi and xi minus xi plus 1 it is denoted by f of xi comma xi plus 1 and it is defined by f of xi comma xi plus 1 is equal to f of xi plus 1 minus f of xi divided by xi plus 1 minus xi okay so this is the first divided difference so and the second divided difference uh, is with respect to xi xi plus 1 and xi plus 2 it is uh, denoted by this f of xi xi plus 1 xi plus 2 and it is defined by f of xi xi plus 1 xi plus 2 is equal to f of xi xi plus 1 comma xi plus 2 that is this minus f of xi uh, comma xi plus 1 divided by xi plus 1 xi plus 2 minus xi okay that is the second divided difference now similarly we can define the kth divided difference that is uh, to define the kth divided difference we have uh, we can first define the k minus one -th divided difference that is after obtaining this k minus one -th divided differences f of xi xi plus one etc xi plus k minus one and f of xi plus one xi plus two etc f of xi plus k then we can uh, we can determine the kth divided differences uh, the, the, it is nothing but f of xi xi plus 1 etc xi plus k this is the kth divided difference which is nothing but f of uh, this k minus 1 the divided difference that is xi plus 1 etc xi plus k minus f of xi etc xi minus 1 divided by xi plus k minus xi so here if you are given the values uh, x naught x1 etc xn and corresponding values of f that is f of x0 f of x1 etc f of xn we can uh, construct the uh, divided difference divided difference table or divided differences that is the zero to divided differences are, are actually the values of f at that point only that is f of x0 is equal to uh, the uh, uh, zero to divided differences are f of x0 f of x1 etc f of xn which are actually the same uh, the values of uh, f at that point only that is uh, f of x0 is equal to f of x0 this is f of the uh, zero the divided difference f of x1 is equal to f of x1 itself etc and uh, after obtaining these uh, zero the divided differences we can find or we can determine the first divided differences that is by using this uh, uh, first two we can uh, uh, we can find the first divided difference f of x naught comma x1 is nothing but f of x naught comma x1 is nothing but from this we get uh, f of x1 minus f of x naught divided by x1 minus x naught f of x naught comma x1 can be determined like that and uh, uh, f of x1 comma x2 can be determined like this f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1 etc so in that manner we can find uh, the uh, first divided differences from these uh, zero the divided differences so uh, from these uh, first divided differences uh, we can find the third divided differences etc and after obtaining the k minus 1 the divided differences we can find the kth divided difference so this process ends with the single nth divided difference which is f of x0 x1 etc xn which is nothing but uh, the n minus 1 the divided difference that is f of x1 x2 etc xn minus f of x0 x2 etc xn minus 1 divided by xn minus x0 that will be the nth divided difference so we have a0 is equal to f of x0 a1 is equal to uh, f of x0 comma x1 uh, that is f of x1 minus f of x0 divided by x1 minus x0 etc and uh, a2 will be nothing but uh, f of x0 x1 x2 which is uh, the second uh, uh, divided difference etc so ak equal to f of x0 x1 x2 etc ak that is the kth divided difference for each values k equal to 0 1 2 3 etc up to n so after obtaining these a1 a0 a1 a2 etc an uh, in terms of uh, the divided differences, 
we can use that divided differences uh, to uh, replace this pnx in this form we know pnx is equal to a0 plus a1 into x minus x0 plus a2 into x minus x0 into x minus x1 plus etc a n into x minus x0 etc x minus x n minus 1 so here we can replace this a0 a1 a2 etc a n so here a0 is equal to f of x0 uh, a1 is equal to f of x0 comma x1 that is the first divided difference a2 equal to uh, the second divided difference that is x, f of x0 x1 x2 etc and a n is nothing but the nth divided difference f of x0 x1 x2 etc x n so this will be the, the interpolating polynomial now by using these divided differences so this can be expressed as uh, in sigma notation we can express this as f of x0 plus summation k from 1 to n f of x0 x1 x2 etc xk into x minus x0 in etc x minus xk minus 1 now the generation of uh, the divided differences uh, is outlined in this table suppose we have the x values x0 x1 x2 etc x5 okay suppose we are uh, taken n equal to 5 so uh, and we are given the functional values f of x at these points f of x0 f of x1 x2 etc f of x5 so we have this is the zeroth uh, divided difference that is f of x0 is equal to f of x0 itself etc so these are the uh, for zero to divided differences now for the now we can find from these zero the divided differences we can find the first divided differences that is the first divided difference f of x0 comma x1 it can be obtained from these two uh, zero the divided differences f of x0 and f of x1 f of x0 comma f of x1 is nothing but sorry f of x0 comma x1 is nothing but f of x1 minus f of x0 divided by x1 minus x0 f of x1 minus f of x0 divided by x1 minus x0 that is the uh, first divided difference uh, with respect to x0 and x1 now first divided difference with respect to x1 and x2 is nothing but f of x1 x2 which is f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1 right and the first divided difference with respect to x 3 and x2 it is it is nothing but denoted by f of x2 comma x3 it is equal to f of x3 minus f of x2 divided by x3 minus x2 similarly in that manner we can find the next uh, first divided differences that is for this we can use these two and for this we can use these two so here we have actually six terms or, or, or six uh, points and but here uh, we, are, we are finding the Using that values, we, we are finding the first divided differences, that is four, five divided differences. Now, to find the second divided differences, we can use the first divided differences. That is to find f of x0, x1, x2. This is actually a divided dif second divided difference with respect to x0, x1, x2. With respect to x0, x1, x2. So, for that, we can use this is actually like this. In this manner, we have. So, this is actually f of x1, comma x2 minus f of x0 comma x1 divided by this like this this x2 minus x0 right this x2 minus x0 and uh, to find this we have f of x1 x2 x3 from this we can find uh, this minus this that is f of x2 minus x3 minus uh, f of x2 comma x3 minus f of x1 comma s2 divided by this x3 minus x1 right or this x3 minus x1 etc in that manner we can find the other second divided differences now after finding these four second divided differences uh, we can find third divided differences uh, by, by using these two we can find this f of x0 x1 x2 x3 that is this third divided differences with, with difference with uh, with respect to x0 x1 x2 and x3 that is nothing but this minus this the f of x1 x2 x3 minus f of x0 x1 x2 divided by this x3 minus x0 or it is actually like this coming like this okay so x3 minus x0 clear and uh, in a similar way we can find the other uh, difference tables so after finding this third divided differences we can find uh, the fourth divided differences and after finding this fourth divided differences we can find the uh, fifth divided difference so that will be the last divided difference here actually here we have x5 so the last one will be 
the fifth divided difference. So that is what is discussed here that the process ends with the uh, nth divided difference f of x not x1 x2 etc f of x n. So in this case we have n is equal to 5 that is we have the x0 x2 1 etc x5 so n is equal to 5 from these third different divided differences we can find fourth divided differences uh, from this actually we get x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 and here we have from these two we have uh, we will get f of x1 x2 etc etc x5 and after finding that fourth one or fourth divided differences we can find the fifth divided difference it will be the last divided difference from this table okay because n is equal to 5 so we will get the last one is n fifth divided difference okay now we can discuss the examples in the next lecture